Okay, so this was a complete failure. This is really good. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I'm the face behind Comida Time. Today I'm going to show you how you can eat gluten-free, dairy-free with only 14 pounds for a whole week. In other words, two pounds per day, one week. The rules are all meals must be gluten-free and dairy-free. Meals must be as healthy as possible, meaning limit highly processed foods. What is permitted? Tap water, sugar, spices, salt and pepper, kitchen facilities, oil. What is forbidden? Free stuff, shoplifting. So let's start with shopping day. Okay, first stop, Lidl. Three peppers, 92p, yeah. One kilo of carrots. Six eggs. Garlic, 39p. Now let's go to Asta. Two bananas, let's see how much is that, 20p, yeah. Seven apples for 59p. 50p broccoli, where are you? Oh yeah, here you are. Two onions, 26p. Potato, 50p. Chicken, 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 pasta, chicken, chicken, pasta. chicken, 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 Hmm, they only have the 180, not the 150, so I will come another day. Canned tomatoes. So there are these brands that I never tried and I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm gonna buy the brand that I already tried. I quite like it and also take some chickpeas. Rice, 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 let's see rice. Okay, let's take this one that is the cheapest and it's one kilo. Milk, soya milk. Let's check this one. Corn flour. Carbohydrates, I have rice, pasta, potatoes, and corn flour. Peppers, carrots, onions, garlic, tomatoes, and broccoli. Six eggs, soya milk, chickpeas, chicken, apples and bananas. Now I'm going to prepare some chicken stock with carrots, onions and some chicken bones. I'm going to freeze some chicken breast and legs for another day. As you can see it's much cheaper to buy the whole chicken and you can do so many different things with it. or banana so I didn't eat anything else it's almost 4 p.m. which is not British lunchtime anymore but at least it's Spanish lunchtime uh, you know that we eat quite late sometimes even at 5 p.m. so yeah this over here is not mine okay <laughs> just wanted to say garlic broccoli spaghetti to say that I really like the pasta from Asta so yeah for one pound 500 grams of spaghetti gluten free I will definitely recommend you to cook this at home guys so yeah I don't really feel to eat but I feel like if I'm not 
cooking anything is like cheating the challenge so so yeah i'm gonna cook um, just one potato in the oven but like uh like if it was fries but just with a little bit of oil and then i'm just gonna cook one or two eggs i'm not sure yet let's see how hungry i feel i love potatoes okay so that was really good i just love the potatoes like this so that's all for today guys i'll see you tomorrow Okay, so let's go back to Asta to see if there is the 150 bread. It seems like we don't have many options again, so I'm not going to risk it and I'm going to take the 175 bread. Let's go now to Mark and Spencer's and buy the red lentils. This one for 75p will do. I'm going to eat a banana now. Well, let's do some breadcrumbs for the Spanish croquetas I'm going to cook now. For the croquetas mix, I have used corn flour, the leftover chicken from the chicken stock, milk and egg. For lunch, I'm eating six croquetas, one potato and carrot. So I'm going to finish to eat this and I will see you later for dinner. I'm doing now some red lentil pizza crust with marinara. I have used the canned tomatoes to make the sauce and I have a bit of sauce left for another day and also a bit of red lentil mix. I love this pizza. Onions, red pepper, carrots, garlic, we have the chicken here and I'm gonna start cooking the chicken. So I'm doing a kind of paella but it's not a paella. So let's call it rice with eggs. I'm using the tomato sauce left over from yesterday night and also the chicken stock and the carrots from the chicken stock. Okay, so that rice was really hard to cook, honestly. Some grains are not uh, completely cooked, still edible. It's full of flavor, it's really good actually. So I used the, um, the chicken stock from the other day. You could also just use salt and spices for saffron, but obviously with the chicken stock it's much tastier. I forgot to mention that I've eaten a banana, so I don't have any more bananas left, but I have this. I have six more apples. I didn't like so much the rice, so I'm going to try to cook other things with that rice and give you my honest opinion about it, but at the moment I'm not so happy. I thought it was gonna be much better. Okay, so I'm back for dinner. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cook some soup with the chicken stock that I did the other day with broken spaghetti and maybe some flatbread with the red lentil mix I did yesterday. For those of you that are on a low-carb diet, this is really good because it's basically just red lentils, water, garlic, that's it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the fourth day. Morning guys, so today I'm going to have for breakfast again the same like yesterday, one toast with egg and one toast with sugar. So many breads I have <gasps> because I still have three days, so it means six meals. Okay, so I'm going to have lunch now. I'm gonna get an apple.
I haven't cooked the rice pudding for tomorrow morning, so it's going to be a little bit annoying in the morning to do that, but... Okay, so this was a complete failure not complete failure, it's still edible, this rice, but I don't like it. Um, I don't think I can have breakfast with this rice for the next two days. And I don't think I'm gonna finish today. Um, so, yeah, I will maybe eat a little bit more of this rice and that's it. No rice pudding with shit rice, thank you. Okay, I'm back for lunch. And that's gonna be my dinner for tonight, yeah. Honestly, I can't wait for this challenge to be finished. <laughs> Meanwhile I cook my lunch, I'm cooking as well for tonight a chickpea soup. You can find the recipe in the channel. For lunch, I'm eating two toasts with chicken breast and potatoes. And I have some chicken left for another day. Morning guys, so today is the last day of the challenge here yeah, finally. Good morning, I'm going to eat two and one left. say that last meal wasn't that good uh, but overall I think the challenge was quite successful apart from that rice pudding and the last soup that I didn't like so much the rest was quite tasty things that I have learned during this week don't buy cheap rice don't be lazy to cook spend all the money and be grateful I'm thinking to do again this type of challenge but next time a uh, vegan and gluten free please let me know what do you think about that I think it could be a nice idea because I will have to work with other kind of ingredients anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching subscribe share and I'll see you in the next one going to tell you to talk, 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 talk.